Hi, good morning. You're back with Themis Farms. Uh, glad to have you guys back again. Today we have a real special video that we uh, have been meaning to shoot for you guys for a long time. And we're going to share a very special breed uh, that we love. And we have three generations, actually, of these dogs on our farm and our property. We really love this breed, being the Black Mouth Cur. So today we have Miss Ruby first in line. So here's... Ruby girl. So Elizabeth, what is the story and how do we end up with Ruby? So we got Ruby as a mate for Louie, who we got from the pound. Louie's a high kill pound rescue. And I was driving home. She'd been running the fields of where I work. Some people know what I do, but anyway, she was running the fields of the prisons on her own. She had been unfortunately abused. She got into this rescue. I was driving home and I just had a wild hair up my butt. I drove, drove in there and I thought it would be nice to have a companion for Lou at some point once we were ready. And uh, we just got this property. So I thought, well, we've got plenty of room, right? So there she was. She wasn't meant to be really adopted out of that place, but um, they let me have her. She was going to some kind of a, whoops, I'm tapping my mic, but she was going to some kind of a rescue foundation or whatever. And anyway, I snapped her up. I brought her home. I just thought she was a mutt. We just thought she was a mutt. And then I got that app, remember? I got the app. I took yeah. a photo of her. It says 99% blackmouth cur or something like that. And that her telltale sign, one of the things we wanted to talk about was the uh, characteristics. The two females have an issue with each other. The telltale black mouth curs have premature graying. And uh, anyway, Alan loved this dog for a bunch of reasons. And I'm gonna let Alan say all the things he loves about Ruby. This is his, he loves Ruby. Uh, yeah. What do you love about her? Uh, well, I, I really like all three of our, or all four of our dogs, pretty much equally. But at some point, we, when she was a pup, she had something about her that was different than any dog I'd really had before. She really, as you noticed in the beginning of the video, she'll look right into your eyes. And she really wants to be connected with you whoever you are or what you know not even just me or elizabeth she really is that way with everybody and uh it's it's a close thing and a, and you can really kind of tell what she's thinking and what she's talking about or thinking about not talking about this is cold. but and she's very well behaved well trained easy to train she wants to please these dogs are very loving and pleasing dogs and they really care more about doing well and behaving and wanting to uh, be part of the family than uh, any other breed I've really met or had. And I've had dogs my whole life. So let me get another one up here do you and hit we pause can. For uh, just a second, we'll call Bruno. Can you do that? Pause. Yeah. There's a pause right here. Yeah, we could. Can you pause? There's the Bruno. So here's Bruno, our other dog. In the orange. That's yeah. our male. And he's a uh, also a black mouth cur, obviously. And he's going to be, uh, he'll be with this one. Hang on, let me get this guy. Sorry. Come on, Bruno. Bruno. Come on, Bruno. Bruno, come. Get up here. Good boy. You stay. So here's Bruno boy. And uh, he's, what, is he three now? Two and a half? Yep, going to be three old. in October. He's, um, he's all dog, as you can see. These are great, uh, a, like I was saying before, a very obedient animal, uh, very happy. They love people. Easy to train. They're not big fans of other dogs necessarily, but I think that's true of any dog or on a coyotes. property. They, they tend to uh, really... They uh, take care of business. They they bark when they need to, and not so much, you know, all night long unless there's a critter up a tree or something like that. So they're very, very yeah, they good take dogs. Care of the yeah, as far as all that goes. 
Here's Ruby. They're Let me also, get this guy. Um, one of the other things is these dogs are multi-purpose dogs. And one of the things that you taught me was they're bred to be perfect. So the perfect qualities of whatever dog it is. So it's really kind of a mutt in a way. Um, all of a sudden, Bruno doesn't want to be on camera. He's always the camera hog, and now he's just does not into it. But anyway, of course, that's the way it is, right? But these dogs are bred from all the best qualities of fur, looks, gait, strength, training. What can you use them for? You can use them to herd. You can use them to protect. You can use them to go hunting with. You can train them for all three purposes. Now, most dogs are like that, but because these dogs are so easy to train, maybe that's the deal. The friendly, they love, love, love people. Uh, they're the most loving animal that I think we've ever had. And so we got him, anyway, I went off on a tangent on their qualities, but the fur is amazing. You never even have to wash them because they're just, it's so short and it's so not like Louie, who's a, fur, a furry guy. Um, but anyway, so Alan, remember you love this dog so much. And I said, Louie is, you know, he's gonna get old and he's gonna get, you know, go down in years and slow down. And so we thought, well, we'll train this guy to be part of the pack. So by the time he does get slower, slow down, he is slowing down, uh, Bruno will be ready to take over and then he and Ruby can run the place. Well, because Ruby, we figured out she was a black mouth of her and you loved her so much, we decided to get another one. So we went up to a breeder in one of the only breeders in California, a uh, really amazing guy, um, Joel, I think it was Joel. Yeah. He runs Northern California Blackmouth Cur website. Shout out to him. That's where we got Bruno. He's a Tennessee dog. I believe he's uh, brought him from Tennessee. Then he raised him. He's an expert on these dogs. And we were off to the races. And then we fell in love with Bruno. And then it went downhill because we decided we needed, we had to have another Blackmouth Cur because they're so loving and get him a mate. And because Joel is the only breeder in California of these dogs, we asked um, Joel for the, to get us a mate for him. And he said, I can't because they're too, too related. You've got to have, you know, like uncle and a great, great, you know, grandchild or some, some, you know, it's got to be off, off the, away from a direct in, inline breeding type of thing. So anyway, he suggested the breeder for this gal in uh, Texas said he's a number one breeder in Texas of these Ladners. So this Bruno's a Southern mixed with Ladner. Ruby's unknown because she's from the pound, but Joel confirmed that she was definitely a black mouth cur. And then we got her this golden, that's what we call her Goldilocks, but we call her golden. And she um, is a Ladner. And he is a famous breeder of the Ladner. And by the way, this is the, as we always say, dog from the real uh, Old Yeller. This is not, Old Yeller is not a retriever. <laughs> Old Yeller is a black mouth cur, and that's because they're so freaking loyal. And they are amazing dogs. Everyone says their dogs are amazing. These are really the, wouldn't you say, Alan, they just cover everything. They do, whatever you need them to be. The only thing that I would say is if you live in an apartment, this probably isn't your breed. No. I, I just wouldn't do that to the animal personally. That doesn't mean with a lot of work and a lot of care and a lot of effort on your part, if you're that kind of dog person, that you could do that with them. They want to uh, be around you a yes. lot, so that would work. But if you're going to just pack up and leave your house at 7 a.m., 6 a.m. and not return until not return until you know okay bruno your your job is done here there you go not not return until you know seven eight o'clock at night this is not the dog will they be compliant yeah but they're they want to run they want to do all kinds of different things they want to chase squirrels up trees um, take care of the property for you rubies are pig herder right now she's 
taken make sure all the piglets stay in the pens for us because the pens are washed out and so we just love them and then here's goldilocks but we call her goldie golden all kinds of different things clown texas goldie sonriente huh yeah and she is uh sh so bruno has an obsession with the car ride if oh, i shouldn't have said that too loud but if I'm going, if we're riding, he would do everything. He doesn't care if a ribeye is in front of him. He doesn't care if whatever's a squirrel's in front of him. If I say ride, he's going to ride. Uh, can't ride in the summer, so he gets kind of bummed out. But Golden is, Golden's thing is the, is the, uh, is the ball. So her, she's obsessed with the ball. And you can see she goes real low when she's hunting for this ball. So she's definitely from, uh, I can't remember his name now, from, from Sims, Texas. He's got these, these dogs that he breeds, and uh, he breeds them to hunt. Squirrel dogs. Yeah. Yep. Squirrel, They're treeers. Squirrel champions. They call treeing, I think, treeing. But yeah. anyway, they're, if you want to train them to do that, you can. This dog, loving, sweet. What else do you like about her? Uh, really athletic. Oh my God, this dog can run. They're, yeah, they're just, they're a great farm dog. You can teach them to do anything. Like you were saying, they'll herd, you, they'll hunt. They hunt boar with these. I've even some, seen a pack of these hunt bear. Yeah. Uh, they are the vicious when, when they need to be, but they're the kindest, happiest, loving dog you've ever seen around people and kids and everybody. Very protective of our home. When, when they're inside and I'm alone and someone walks in those doors, they are not, they're on it. Even if it's somebody they know, they put them in check first, <coughs> hold them at the door until they they either hear it the okay from me or they um, realize it's somebody they know. But very, uh, very protective that way. And... Uh, that's about it. I'm sure we're forgetting a million things, but we drove all the way to Texas to get her to the three corners of Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Texas to get her. We drove all the way to Texarkana. northern. Texarkana. Yeah, near Texarkana. That's right. And that's it. We ended up with four dogs. Not what we wanted to do, but we're thinking of, you know, breeding her. But not right now. We're taking a, what are we doing? We're taking a list of, of people that are interested and yeah, if you're interested in, in uh, Golden or uh, Bruno's pups uh, in the future, yeah, you have our, our site. We have our website. I think I'm uh, going to wait farms. wait till she's two. That way she's fully... Uh, yeah. She's fully had her puppy life. And uh, she'll go back to being a puppy after she breeds. But I don't know. We just enjoy her so much that... Yeah. Uh, not quite ready to breed her, but we'll see. You know, nature has its own rules on that. Yeah. So we love these dogs. We've been meaning to give you a video about all these dogs. Um, not sure we covered all bases, but there's our Louie. He, I got him. I brought him okay. one, one day home from Vegas. And that, he's sitting right there. And that's it. What else you got, Alan? I think that's it. I think that's about it. Uh, there's a million other things uh, that I can't think about with these dogs, but if, if you are interested in, in more about them, you can look them up, obviously. But you can also uh, come to our site and ask some questions at themisfarms.com. And uh, we are there, and we can uh, help you out with any questions that you may have. We've had them for, what, five years, six years uh, now? No, yeah, 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 that's right. So Sorry, yeah. Ruby got in 2017 when we first moved here. So. And uh, she really kicked things off. She's the reason why we have all these dogs, yep. to be Great honest. Great dogs. Yep. Okay, with that, Elizabeth, I think we'll call that a close. Thank you and so much. Again, uh, if you like our videos, like and subscribe. And we are at themisfarms.com, and you can see our whole website there. Thanks for showing up, and uh, we will have a farm video coming soon.